Hey guys, what is going on? Today we're doing our first video on my Pingu Mate Tutorials YouTube channel. Now, today we're going to be doing uh, the achieve achievement tutorial when the revolution comes. Now, if you do not know what that achievement is, it is the one as you can see here. When the revolution comes, invariably return to processing. Now, if you do not know how to do this achievement, this is where you need to be. This is the video for you. First step is to get Leroy out of his cage. Is you need to go into the first room. As you see me do, you grab the key, unlock that, grab the booze, let him out, and then he breaks out. He will then start to wander around and do whatever he pleases. It is now up to you to gather the Ray Gun, Ray Gun Mark II, Mustang and Sally, RPG or Monkey Bomb. Granted, you cannot get Mustang and Sally out of the box, so you will need to pack a bunch of that. But there is not really much point in doing that as so. I have had many questions and people wondering if the grenades will work to do this no it will not they do not destroy what you need to destroy to gather the achievement now it may take a while for you to get ray gun so i suggest you locking down the box the best way to lock down the box is either if you have money in your bank is to go down here and access as not maybe not as much as you can but probably about 7k will set you that, that's the safe limit. That's probably far over the limit, but that's the safe limit. You then need to, if you do not have money in your bank, you can go here and gather any of these uh, chalks. They will give you 1,000 each to place on any of the designated spots around the map, such as that one up there. Once you have done that, you then need to go here, go over here, where underneath the power room, and open that door for 750. You need to go through here and open that door for 12.50. You will then need to go around the, this candy store and find the candy. As you, it can spawn in a location there, there, over here, or up here, as I believe. Mine spawn up here, as you see. You will then need to make your way back to the box at the starting location and then wait for Leroy to come to you. Once you have the candy, he will obviously automatically follow your path and make his way to you. Once you have Leroy here, you need to make yourself in the corner of the box to lock it in. It's probably best here or here as then he will smash down the box and it will be locked in so the box will not go away. It's just easier than having to run around the map every single time the box switches locations. As you can tell I now have the Raygun Mark 2. I also have the power loader so this will be a bit easier for me to do this but I will still explain every single step just in case you do not you are not lucky enough to get the power loader along with the ray gun or RPG, monkey bomb, etc. Now what you need to do, you need to make your way back all the way around the map and then come through this candy store and come over here. You may need to collect booze if you do not have the paralyzer as you will need to get Leroy to unlock this barricade here. But as uh, I have the paralyzer, I do not need to. I will just fly over it. Once you have either of them guns, you need to get 1250 to unlock the witch's door house. If you make your way through the witch's house, you will then come out the other side. Once you're through the witch's house, it is easy enough to do this do the step from now on. It is up to you if you dis if you decide to destroy and kill all the witches, that is entirely up to you. It's just easier as they will not then chase you around the map and try and steal your stuff. You'll then get a free perk in which you probably won't be allowed to use unless you turn on the power. Once you're here, you need to then find this center location. Lucky enough I was able to just walk through here and find it there. But we need to do you need to then destroy it. As you can tell it creates a hole. Now do not do anything with that hole just quite yet. Once you have shot that with any of the weapons, as I have said, you need to make your way through back through the witch's house, possibly killing a few as you go. Either way, once you have returned, it is pr pretty easy just to turn on the power as you go up through the room, just so you can get that perk that you created just for the sake of it. You are then in the need another bit of booze. Some may spawn again in his prison, in Leroy's prison cell, or it may spit spawn in the saloon. It has a higher chance of spawning in the saloon as there's more locations in there, and the prison cell only has one location. We need to do, if it doesn't spawn in the prison cell, you need to make your way to the saloon and gather the booze. It could be on most of these tables here. I'm pretty sure it's near enough every single one. Except for the outer two there, but I'm not too sure. Do not quote me on that. Once you have the booze, you need to then gather Leroy again. Get him to follow you all the way around. Because you have this door open, it is a lot easier to do this. Unless you're paralyzed, you can just fly over. That is your choice. As you, what you need to do now is go to this well. Is by the witch's house and by the church. You then need to kill all the zombies around you. Just to make sure that you don't get hit when you're feeding him. But then you need to give Leroy booze so he destroys the fountain. As you can tell, 
water starts spouting out and you can kind of pretty much tell that it's destroyed. Once you've done that, you need to either fly over this barricade or you may have it destroyed if you do not have a paralyzer. Go back through the witch's house, destroy, kill even the witches that approach you. Once you're on the other side, all you need to do is go back to the center bit. As you can notice, there is a now a glowing, spinning kind of circle thing. All you need to do to gather, gather this achievement is do the following of what I've said and then jump down the hole. This will spawn you back to the location and your achievement will pop up. This is the very easy this is a very easy achievement to get on this map and it is worth 20 gamer score. It is simple enough to get if you just follow the steps very clearly and then you will know what to do, quite simply. Either way guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. That is my first ever tutorial on this channel. I hope you have enjoyed. If this has helped you out be sure to leave a like button. Obviously subscribe to my personal channel and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And peace out guys.